It's that time of year again. The Enduro World Series is just about to kick off. Riders have been training really hard and the racing is cool. Rounds this year will take us from Chile, Argentina, Ireland, Italy, America, Canada, France, and the grand finale will be in Italy again. But how do you watch this series? Well, this is GMBN's guide on how to follow it. Unfortunately, due to the remote locations of a lot of these races, it's not a live event. And it's also really hard to broadcast three to six stages in one day. So you are going to have to follow it via social media and pictures online. The race results are always published after the event. So with social media, the biggest being Facebook. Now, Enduro World Series are pretty up to date with managing their Facebook account. They share race results, pictures, anything that you might like to see. Pro bikes are all up there. So be sure to check that out if you want to follow the event. In the lead up to the event, the Enduro World Series and their media associated company will produce a short video which will detail the stages of the race, some top riders to watch, interviews with riders and some key features that you might want to watch out for during the race. Now this will be posted on their Facebook page, it will also be shared on their website EnduroWorldSeries.com and it will also be on a lot of the biggest mountain bike channels. So you're probably wondering how long the Enduro Riders are gonna be out for. If you go to EnduroWorldSeries.com and click on the events tab, this will bring you on to each individual race. If you click on that, you'll be able to find the maps and the maps will tell you stage transition times, how long they've got to get from point A to point B, the stages themselves, how much climbing and descending are in them. And it'll actually be a really good reference point for how hard those stages are gonna be. So just go and check that out before the event and you'll find all the information right there. Now, due to the remote locations of these events, they are susceptible to some slight changes. You might get shorter liaisons or shorter stages even. So if you click in the fan section on EnduroWorldSeries.com and that'll take you to the events updates and you'll find all the information you need right there. Helmet cameras. In Enduro, you'll see a lot of the riders using them. They use them to analyze runs afterwards, identify key points where they might want to break or attack on any short climbs but you're lucky enough that they will share them with you. And if you check out some of the big teams such as Yeti, Canyon, and even Cube, they'll all post them on their Facebook pages for you to watch. So go check them out and you'll see just how hard some of those enduro courses are. So once practice is complete and the race has started, you're probably going to wonder where you're gonna find these race results. Well, if you go onto Enduro World Series website, you probably know this already, you'll find that they have a live race feed, live results, and they also update Twitter quite regularly. So you'll find all that information and who's had mechanicals or if there's been any crashes that they've spotted out in the field. Another great social media platform to check out is Instagram. You'll find Enduro World series on there as well. So check them out at world underscore Enduro. They have some great photos and some behind the scenes imagery. You'll also find a lot of the riders there as well. And they post behind the scenes, what they're up to and the race results. So here's our best picks for who to follow and who regularly updates. The first one is Greg Callan. He rides for the Cube Action team and he got his first win in 2015 at the Ireland event. Next up is Curtis Keane and he's really keen on his social media. He regularly updates and gives you some great behind the scenes footage and action using his GoPro. Jerome Clements, he rides for Cannondale Factory Racing. The world champion in 2013 will be back out there and he'll be fighting to get that overall series win at the end of the year. He updates his regularly with some great photos and results. Richie Rude, he rides for Yeti Fox, the current Enduro World Series champion, and it's going to be very interesting to see how he does this season. So check him out on Instagram and to see his progress. Isabel Corduria, one of the fast girls riding for Sun Bikes. She updates on a regular basis with great photos and events behind the scenes. Annika Burton of GT Factory Racing is one of the fast ladies to watch. She's going to be up there on the podium, so check her out. So that's the riders checked off, but also the photographers are there and they're riding around the stages and getting great shots of the riders. So for some excellent behind the scenes, check out Matt Rag. Well, he works for a lot of the big teams, gets some great behind the scenes photography and some really scenic shots. Sven Martin, he's been around for a long time in the downhill scene and switched over to Enduro. He captures the action really well, so check him out. Dave Trumpmore, he works for quite a lot of the big teams as well, but he also gets some really banging shots, and I love seeing the stills that he comes up with at the end of the race weekend. After the event has finished, you'll be able to see all the results on most major mountain bike websites. You'll be able to see a stage breakdown and who got the overall position. And hopefully by the end of the weekend, your favorite mountain bike rider will have won.
As well, on the Enduro World Series website, they have this really cool feature where you can analyze any result from the last two years of the Enduro World Series. It's a neat little feature, and you should go and check it out. I'm even on the results there. After the event has finished, you'll find there will be a short highlights video. And this will contain information as to who's won and some great riding clips with interviews from the winners of the race. After all the racing is finished and the results have been announced, on a Tuesday, the Enduro World Series will release a highlight video, a 20 minute summary of the event weekend. So grab a beer, grab a brew and sit back, relax and just enjoy it. So not only is all the race information going to be on your favorite mountain bike channels, but it's going to be right here on GMBN. We're going to put together a little summary of the race and as ever, we'll have some features in the Dirt Shed show. Plus, we'll be on the ground. I'll actually be racing a couple of EWSs. So if you're there, come by and say hi. It's going to be one exciting season and I can't wait to see who's going to get that win at the end of the season. But that's it for how to follow the Enduro World Series. For more great videos on GMBN, why not click up there for a pro bike playlist and click down there for a feature on what is Enduro. As ever, don't forget to subscribe, click right in the middle, it's free and you get a great video every day of the week. If you did find this video useful, then you know what's happening? Give us a thumb up like.